Hey everyone, I'm Rob Greenfield. Welcome to my tiny house homestead in Orlando, Florida. This tiny house is 100 square feet. I built it using about 99% secondhand and repurposed materials, all for under $1,500. Today, I wanna show you a little tour, and I spend most of my time outside, so we'll start here. The outdoor kitchen is my, one of my favorite spots and where I spend a lot of my time. I've actually got uh, dinner on the stove right now. Uh, sweet potatoes, pigeon peas, and greens. And I'm currently doing a project where for one year I'm growing and foraging 100% of my food. So this is all food from my garden or from foraging. I have a propane stove here, just a standard outdoor um, camping propane stove. But I also cook using a methane biodigester. Hasn't quite produced enough gas to be 100% dependent on it yet, but uh, I switch out between this and that. I've also got a, um, a solar oven, and I also cook over the fire sometimes as well. My sink uh, just uses rainwater, so I have access to a hose here, but 99% of my water comes from harvesting rainwater. I have this barrel uh, right here by the sink, and it's just a gravity-fed sink. Just like that, the, it's the pressure of the water that pushes it out. And then after the water goes into the sink for washing dishes and such, it goes down the drain. And then it comes out back here and I'm growing taro and bananas using my gray water. My, uh, all the water that I drink is from uh, harvesting rainwater. So it just comes right off my roof into some simple barrels and then I pour it into this Berkey filter and that puts out pure, fresh, clean drinking water. I'll take you next to the, um, the compost toilet. Now, I'm pretty excited that I actually grow my own toilet paper. This is it right here. And it's a, it's a plant that's uh, actually in the mint family. So it's got a great minty smell and it's just, I mean, it is as soft as can be. So that's what I use as my toilet paper. Um, with the compost toilet, the product that you create is called humanure for human manure. So the pea is diluted uh, with water and then goes into the garden, fruit trees and things like that it's used on. The poop um, uses sawdust as the, basically this gets rid of all smell and it's the carbon source to go with the nitrogen. That's composted for a year and then is uh, used as fertilizer for fruit trees. So just a little introduction to the compost toilet. Instead of flushing it away and making it someone else's problem, I add fertility to the land. And uh, speaking of fertility to the land, this is my outdoor uh, rainwater shower. So this water is harvested from the landowner's roof so that I can get way more rainwater than just my 100 square foot house. And I just have a bucket here, fill this up, and I just do a basic over the head rainwater shower. Really great system, and this gray water, also uh, I've just planted bananas, and hopefully those will grow large and make a nice canopied area. So no water wasted here, instead it adds fertility to the land. So that's the outside. Um, I want to show you the inside of the house. So it's pretty small. As I said, it's 100 square feet, so it's 10 feet wide by 10 feet long, about 10 square meters. So there's not a huge amount to see here. I have my, my bed slash couch, um, and this gets the basic job done of needing a, a place to sleep. Behind me, I have a uh, mosquito net. So here in Florida, mosquitoes are a problem. So I have that that can just cover me up, keep me, uh, keep me comfortable at night. Under the bed, there's storage. Um, I try to keep my life pretty minimal as far as stuff. For a while, I had my life down to just 111 possessions as I was traveling. But now that I have this homestead and I'm you know, gardening and growing food, I need some more storage space. So this gets the job done. Um, and uh, over here, this is uh, my bookshelf with, uh, yeah, I keep, the, keep it pretty small, but enough books. A lot of these are based on 
sustainable living, growing food, things of that sort. Right now I'm reading a book called Honeybee Democracy, which is a great read. Um, here is foods that I'm fermenting, things like jun and uh, honey wine and vinegars and such. Uh, pumpkins that I grew, those are called seminal pumpkins. Um, I have bees, uh, four hives, four colonies, and this is just some of the honey that I've gotten from them. Um, the shelf is just some of my basic possessions. I keep things pretty simple, personal hygiene wise and everything. Uh, so not a whole lot there. And really this house exists largely around food. I mean, I tried to not only talk about food, but it always comes right back to it. Um, here's my desk. I built this um, just using leftover materials. So this house, as I said, was built with 99% secondhand and repurposed materials. And um, that's mostly leftover wood from construction sites, Craigslist, Habitat for Humanity, things like that. This chair was $15 um, at a yard sale. This was $0. It's just some leftover 2x6s and plywood. The electricity that I use here uh, comes from an extension cord from the property. I was going to be completely off the grid, but for this year of growing and foraging 100% of my food, I decided I wanted the deep chest freezer. So I'm just using about $10 worth of electricity per month, so pretty minimal. Um, this house, you know, I've seen comments online saying, isn't it just a shed? Well, I pretty much designed this to be like a shed. I wanted it to fit into the neighborhood. So I pretty much used shed plans and adapted it to, to be a good house for myself. Um, what I do is I do a work exchange here. So in exchange for someone else's unused backyard, I built them a big garden in the front yard and helping them live more sustainably. And after I leave, this tiny house will actually be theirs to keep. So rather than doing a monetary transaction, we figured out a way to help each other out and meet our basic needs. So that's my place. It's been awesome taking you on a little tour of it. Uh, if you found this to be inspirational and educational and you got a lot out of it, then I'd encourage you to join me over on my YouTube channel where I give a lot more details about everything going on here. For now, time for me to have dinner. See y'all. Thanks for joining me.